Um, Jerry, I, I was curious uh, what you thought about the DeMarcus Cousins interview with Mark Spears that came out yesterday. Like, what, what jumped out to you? What was your reaction? Well, it's, it seems like DeMarcus is DeMarcus. You know, he's basically kind of taking no responsibility or accountability for anything. Uh, you know, DeMarcus, is, you know, he made his own bed. Sometimes if you wet the bed, you're going to have to lay in it a little bit. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I thought he was kind of copping out, uh, you know, DeMarcus, obviously a marvelous talent, uh, you know, and I got along with him. Well, I, I liked him off the court, but I also saw what happened in practices and, and, and some of the disrespect with coaches, the head coaches, assistant coach, some teammates, you know, I saw that and, and, uh, and really with, you know, just wonderful people like Jeff Petrie and Wayne Cooper. I mean, the, the, the disrespect he showed them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, I, I can't forget that and give that a pass. Yeah. And so, and there's a reason, you know, and, and I hope it works out in Denver for him. I do. I, I uh, but it, there's a reason he's been way before five teams here lately. Uh, so, so it's up to DeMarcus. I mean, now he's not the same player, and, and I think and maybe that may be the best way of him getting back on track just is that he knows he knows he's on short leashes. And uh, and so, but it, it, like I say, overall, it, it's a shame. I mean, he, he probably would have been the best player in Sacramento mm-hmm. Kings history had, uh, had he maybe approached it differently. Uh, you know, certainly the stats tell you only part of the story because I've said many times every losing team has a leading score. Yep. Uh, you know, I mean, and sometimes that's the reason the team's losing. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 so sad because you you do look back at this time and you go you look at the mistakes made on all sides with you know the 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 organization and with Demarcus and. Everyone has to accept accountability for these mistakes. And you just wonder if everyone was mature enough or had things under control during this time, if everything just really could have been different, not only in Sacramento, but even for DeMarcus Cousins and his legacy that he's going to leave on the NBA floor. Oh, exactly. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame talent and uh, he's not going to be in the Hall of Fame. So that Mm -hmm. tells you you know, tells you about that. And, and as you said, there's a lot of blame to go around. I do think it, you know, probably he, he deserves probably more than anybody else uh, because it's, it's, it's his talent and that's been squandered. I mean, the injuries are part of it, but, but I know, you know, that there's a reason why he's where he is at this time, you know, kind of on short deals and things of that nature, but it, it's sad. And, and, uh, and he was, uh, you know, such a nice person off the court and, and good for the community. You know, it's just one of those guys that kind of a Jekyll and Hyde, uh, once the ball went up, uh, or, or whatever, and he just, you know, things changed and not necessarily for the better. Yeah. Jerry, I remember when they were, when, when he was here for a pre-draft workout, I was there for that. And I remember walking away going, man, the Kings should draft this guy. I know it's a risk because you had heard about the concerns, but you also knew that this is a young man. And then he comes, yes. he comes to Sacramento. And if I remember correctly, uh, Petrie hired his old high school coach to be on the coaching staff to try to get him in a comfortable spot and get him feeling good about the environment in Sacramento. It seemed like you guys, at least early on, tried to do the right things to get him going in uh, the right direction to set him up for success. Um, and it probably also didn't help that missed draft picks happened too, right? Like it, if, if you draft Dame Lillard, what does that look yeah. like with cousins, right? Does Dame become that <laughs> alpha and like, does that change? Well, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like they tried everything. I mean, I remember getting uh, oh, guys, uh, uh, the center, uh, guys from Houston, the 6'5 guy that wouldn't. Oh, Chuck uh, Hayes? Uh, Chuck Hayes. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was going to be kind of a mentor. And I always remember about in the first month, he's, you know, him saying, hey, you know, basically, blah, blah. I can't, I can't mess with this guy. <laughs> this is hopeless. <laughs> And, uh, you know, because he tried to mentor him a little bit. I remember Paul Wessel hired Truck Robinson, uh, you know, to, to, you know, for that express purpose. And I think 
you know, truck was wanting to fight him about every day after about the first week. And, uh, uh, so, you know, it's just, it was just bad. I, I mean, at some point, I mean, I, I really believe DeMarcus had a real authority, a problem with authority figures and, and I, I, he really needed, honestly, I, I felt that I'm not a psychiatrist, but I think he needed that kind of help and just wouldn't take it. Oh yeah. Uh, it would have been good for him. And, and I know it was recommended and the team tried to give him assistance and all those kind of things, anger management, different things. Uh, but he just refused at that time but uh so i don't know you know i mean there's always a lot to go around and people that you know everybody has different opinions and it usually is based on what position you were viewing the situation if you were in the 10th row you looked at it one way uh, maybe if you're on the first row you might have looked at it differently you know what i mean yeah. and uh uh but i mean uh, i mean i certainly think there's demarcus is a good person i i really believe that i but i think you know, is how he's handled authority figures, competitiveness, all that is uh, probably, probably couldn't have been much worse. You know, and I mean, you see it with officials, you know, I mean, and, you know, you know, our fans think he always got bad, you know, was, was treated unfairly. Well, if you're an official, you know, it's like, I know every official league them, but boy, this is a, you know, they feel like it, it's refereeing two games uh, when they refereed the Kings back in those days. They talk about it, you know, it's like, oh, my God, this guy yeah. is, you know. And so, you know, yeah, it's a never-ending story. I, you know, just saw the little episode last night of Will Barton mm. and him getting into it, you know, and it's like, yeah, well, we'll I see. Know. I know it's it's it is sad to to see and especially because he got ejected in the game the night or like the day before this article before, came out yeah. right you know and it's just like man this is really telling to who he still is and it is sad because you do wish that not only does he have the resources to get professional help he just it he has to take it upon himself reflect and obviously accept accountability and i mean hell if chuck hayes the nicest human in the entire world couldn't even handle it i can't imagine what things were like but i, I want to ask you one more thing about the the piece and what he said jerry uh when he said he was the best player in king's history what did you think about that well he's incorrect of course uh uh, I mean, Chris Weber has been the best player in King's hit history to date. Uh, and so, and, and that's proven by the fact that Chris uh, is in the Hall of Fame and, and was the best player on a whole bunch of 50 plus 60 win teams. And DeMarcus, his stats might have been similar, but like I say, <laughs> it's, uh, there's really no comparison. And, 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 you know, as I said earlier, I mean, could, could DeMarcus have been better than Chris? Absolutely. I think he could have. I think his talent was that level, but he did, but it certainly wasn't achieved. And I just hope for him that even with his diminished abilities, you know, physically due to the legs and different things that, because he could still be a $10 million player, a million dollar player. I mean, he has that much talent, even with all the injuries, just to find a way to get along, use your skills, you know, be a, be a little more positive. You don't ever have to soften totally, but, but he could still have four or five very productive and, and make a lot of money if, if he could just make some minor adjustments.